Hello guys and welcome back to another great episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. Uh, to begin with you can probably notice a lot of differences here, a lot of new things. I will go through this uh, well within, you know, within the next couple of seconds or so. Um, so before we start there is a link at the top there to my Drug Dealer Simulator place. If you haven't checked that out there's some great content in there. Go check it out. Uh, you might learn some things. There's a couple of recipe mixes in there and uh, how-to guides and etc. Go and check that out if you haven't already. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. You know, Let's have a little chat in the comment section about this game or about this episode. And also, guys, if you, you know, I'm hoping you watched my Weed Shop 3, uh, my first look at Weed Shop 3. Uh, if you haven't, there is a link in the description down below, and there will be a link at the end of this video. If you haven't checked that out, go and check that out. But in Weed Shop 3, I mentioned about me doing a live stream, or starting to live stream again within the next couple of weeks. Um, I just thought I'd put that out there just to remind you guys uh, of that. So make sure, you know, if you want to see, um, you know, talk to me. Learn a couple of things about me personally, or, you know, about the games I enjoy, or about the game we, we will play. Uh, you know, make sure to come in and check out. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button for the notification of when that happens. So with that said and done and out of the way, because you know you got to get the jargon out of the way at the beginning so you can enjoy the game for the rest of the you know for the rest of the episode. Uh, you probably noticed some differences. Now this is my brand new drug lab. Now someone in the comment section mentioned that they work for Kenji, and uh, they would like. You know, a couple of meth recipes, uh, personal meth recipes from me. Now, I've stayed away from meth because meth have... I'm not, you know, ever since day one, I've always gotten uh, Libelina. I've always got the well. And I've always dealt with Coke. So Coke, I know like the back of my hand. I know what kind of mix is, how to start with Coke, you know, etc, etc. But meth, when it comes to meth... I always seem to cock it up and I end up killing my clients. So, because I'm so far ahead, um, I've made a, another lab to make meth. Now, I've done a lot of real-time uh, research into real recipes to see what kind of things go well with meth, what people mix with meth, you know, the sort of cutting agents that are found within meth. Okay, and I've also gone through a couple other people's guides on Steam. Now, a lot of the guides out there, it's all basics, you know, cut meth with a bit of sugar or a bit of Viagra and then blah de blah de blah And there you go, straight there, look. I'm, I'm not even to that point yet, but there goes proves my point, which I'm about to come up with. Um, so, yeah, I've tried to, yeah, I've done a hell of a lot of research on reality what kind of meth recipes out there in reality and what to cut meth with. Now the best things to cut meth with are things like amphetamine, marijuana, um, and then you got, uh, what's the other one? There was another one, amp, marijuana, oh, and the hallucinogens. Okay, so I'm fantastic that this game has now got hallucinogens. We've got DMT and we got LSD as well. Fentanyl is also cut into meth quite a bit, but I don't, I don't like to use fentanyl for two reasons. One is a very potent drug, so you don't want to be using too much. The slightest bit over the top, you can start killing clients. And secondly, it's very expensive. It's $20 per gram. And as I'm trying to make as much, you know, trying to maximize my profits from my um, from my mixes, I don't really want to use fentanyl. So my mixes that I have created do not contain any fentanyl. They just contain the base drugs of amp marijuana and lsd now these are my very first advanced uh meth mixes okay my very first advanced meth meth meth, blah, 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 meth mixes so they are not oh and they're probably not you know um what you guys are used to with seeing a meth mix you probably think well why is he putting that in and why is he putting that in like i said i've tried to base it off realism real life meth mixes um of what i can find you know like what cutting agents and stuff and uh that's what i've based it on now obviously this is all still a work in progress i have been slaving over this for about two three days now trying to perfect these recipes and i'm still going these are not perfect but 
as you saw just a minute ago, I am getting a client's addicted to this product. I haven't had no deaths, touch wood. I had no deaths. I've had, I've got a lot of addiction to it. It's not a high addiction rate, but I'm getting a lot of addiction to this drug. And the profits, I haven't really gone through the profits at the moment because I'm trying to, obviously, like I said, make a couple of races and go for the profits. Now you're probably wondering why, well, no, uh, that. Now you're probably wondering, yeah, how does that affect Kenji? If you've not got Kenji, how do you know if your product's worthy for the gang? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am doing another playthrough. Unfortunately, I'm not recording it at the moment. Um, but I'm doing another playthrough, a sort of speed run, if you would want to put it that way or say that way, to Kenji. I'm just going to push my way into Kenji. And as soon as I get Kenji as my uh, gang, so I can start supplying Kenji, I am going to record as, like, the first, you know, a couple of bits of the Kenji. I'm going to do, like, an episode on meeting Kenji and, you know, dealing for Kenji and doing some meth mixes. I'm going to do that all in one episode, and then I'm going to bring out... A few episodes on my meth mixes and explain what is in my meth so don't think this episode i'm showing you what is in my meth i've explained what i've used etc etc and showed my lab but i'm not going to do any meth mixes in this episode this episode okay so you probably well you're probably wondering why or probably wondering what this episode is about so you're probably wondering what this episode is going to be about then if I'm showing you all this and it's not about this. But this episode, ladies and gentlemen, is a special episode. An absolutely fantastically special episode. We are very close to level 100. So max level is level 100. Well, as far as I know, max level is level 100. And we are literally touching it. Okay, it's within our grasp. We've got four more levels to go. And, uh, yeah, so I can smell that victory of level 100. And this is what this episode is about. This episode is about reaching level 100 and reaching that max level and see what happens when we get there. And if anything, nothing might happen. It might just be the same old, same old because, you know, nothing's come out for this game since the uh, new gang come into play. Um, so, yeah, there may not be nothing there, but I've never reached it. Even my season one and, you know, I had two playthroughs on season one. I had the YouTube playthrough and my personal playthrough. Each of those playthroughs, I never reached level 100 because new content come out. So I had to restart. So this episode is special to me because it's my first time reaching 100. And I'm going to be doing it with you guys. So that is what this episode is about. Reaching that level 100 mark. So seven minutes in, I've explained as much as I can, so I hope I haven't bored you to death, guys. I hope you're still here, and hope you are ready to reach level 100. So in order to do that, we're going to need some orders. So let's start, uh, you know, dealing. Let's start selling to these clients, and um, yeah, let's get going. Let's get rocking, shall we? So I'm over on Sector B. Is there anything here for Sector B? We have downtown the supermarket. These are cash deliveries, uh, which is not ideal. Okay, we have a Order for some cocaine there, 37 grams, West Dead Town, the cash delivery, Mid Dead Town cash. It's mainly all cash um, because obviously I've been selling a lot of meth to try to, you know, find a good product. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. So there's a lot of cash delivery. So, yeah, let's get and do this and uh, start ranking up, start leveling up. Um, there was a time when you could throw your bags over walls yes you heard me you could throw your bags no matter what the weight over walls and over fences and you used to be able to say for instance fill your um, bag briefcase whatever you want up with dope and throw it over to sector b without paying to go through the tunnels now they tried to stop that okay they tried to stop that by adding the massive wall around and making it that when you're bag has got a certain amount of weight in it's harder to throw and you can't throw it as high but but this is where a big butt comes into it now i'm not sure about whether the weight i think the weight obviously will um how can i put it the weight will i don't even know where i'm bloody going here i've lost it i think the heavier your bag the less chance of it actually working so don't think you can fill your bag up with, I don't know, let's say 40 bags of 50 gram packets for your your uh, gang. Don't think you can fill it up like that and then 
lob it over. So have max weight of say, what's the max weight on this? So 300, uh, 300 weight on the briefcase. Don't say you can fill it out with max weight and then throw it over. You, I don't think you still be able to do that. But if you've got, you know, a couple of orders on sector B or even sector A, and you wanna, I think it only works from sector A to sector B. Actually thinking about it. But if you wanted to, uh, you know, sneak the drugs over without having to pay to go in the underground, I will show you a little trick there. So that's one thing I do want to show you guys. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any more orders this side. Minutes, so do bear with me. You've also got to go through, I think I've explained this before, you've also got to go through these, um, even though it says that you've read them. But sometimes it says you've read them, but they still have orders on. Uh, this time it's not going to show me, so that's good. So just be wary that it might say you've clicked it and read it. And uh, not show that it's got an order on. Okay, so now we need to go over to the other sector. So I'm going to throw that bag down there. I'm going to run away from the police and I'm going to use the underground section. And whilst we're over there, I'm going to do a couple of deals. I bet I haven't got bobby pins. I do have bobby pins. Oh, it's open anyway. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear him right beside me. Oh, yeah, so close. <coughs> um, yeah, so the other thing quickly I want to show you is, oh, look. We have a very suspicious black van. Now, I, in one of the episodes, I purposely got myself raided by the DEA just to see if there was any change and to show you guys what that was like. And there was no suspicious black van. As soon as I start dealing with meth, oh look, we get a suspicious black van. So, if you don't deal with meth, be careful. Um, I'm not saying that this is always the case. This might just have been a little uh, delay, a little bug for me. But um, yeah, just be careful that if you do ever change to meth, you might encounter a DEA van turn up or watching your places. And it is pretty darn scary because... I got raided, um, and when I got raided, my exposure factor was just under halfway, general risk factor was about quarter of the way, and I got raided by the DEA, and yeah, it wasn't expected, it wasn't, you know, it was unexpected because it wasn't, I try not to, you know, have those bars go high, so it was very unexpected and very scary, so please be warned uh, when you do deal with meth. Um, it's quite scary because the DEA wants your ass. So, uh, yeah. With that said and done, anyway. I know, more yibber yabber. But I'm just trying to help you guys. What am I doing? Weed, sorry. Um, I'm just trying to help you guys. Little things like that. There's uh, certain things you've got. Oh, now I've got a mid-dead town frickin' order. Well, bloody typical, isn't it? But anyway. Let's earn some XP. This is what this episode's about. Not me ch chatting shit. Well, not really chatting shit, but... You know... We're here to do a job which is reach level 100. So let's get and do this. Alright, 30 MJ. <coughs> I haven't got a bag. Bollocks.
Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you that little trick about the wall. So, uh, this is what they put up. Never used to be a massive wall like this. Um, there was a wall, but it wasn't like this. And you could literally throw your bag over the wall. And uh, there was a good spot down in the, the old marketplace where you could do it. But they tried to stop people doing that because they want people to use it a legit way, which is the underground systems or the sewer hatch. Okay, so the underground systems where you're going to go and pay to go underground and take your suitcase. But here on Eastern Slums, okay, so Eastern Slums here, there's a couple of pallets here. Now I don't know if this is going to work because I have quite a weighty bag. Um, but if you get on here, you you could just jump. That's probably the easiest way, just to jump up and do it. But but yeah, so you can't do that anywhere else along the wall. Not that I found out. This is the only spot I found out um, that works. I bet there Sir, is more spots. Stop. I bet Are there's people like, you, you know, a couple of weapons? you have already found a couple of other spots that do that. If you have, please let me know. Um, that's the only spot I know about it. And uh, it's good for getting, yeah. You know, okay, clean. Good for getting Go your bag on. over there. And as you saw, if you jump, you actually get quite uh, some height with it. So you could probably get a little bit more weight than what's in there. Um, but yeah, I didn't really need it because I haven't got the drugs in there. But I just wanted to show you guys that spot. Okay, so with that said and done, let's carry on and uh, do some deals. Okay, so guys, we are coming up to that nice triple digit number, the uh, level 100, the max level we can get to. Well, as far as I know, it's the max level we can get to. Um, you know, I haven't actually been there, I've got that, I've been ever so close, just never achieved that level 100 mark, and we are going to do this episode. This is what this episode is about, reaching that pinnacle number. Um, oh, police on the fugitive, so I don't really want to be caught. Thank you very much. They've been on my ass. Right on my ass all freaking day because of trying to bang this uh, level 100 out. But I've also achieved something else this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I have achieved enough XP to unlock the very last area of Bad Asia. And we are going to do this together. Ready? So we have finally unlocked the very last area, which is Bad Asia, which is great. That's freaking fantastic. That means we've got every area unlocked, and uh, we are about to also hit level 100. We are at level 99, nearly halfway. But uh, yeah, I'm doing some very dodgy dealing because I'm uh, doing a lot of deals during the daytime, um, just to obviously whack this out. Better XP, obviously, at nighttime with the dealers. 
but yeah, it's just that. Uh, it's, it's been a long, a long time. You know, a long time to get to this point. Um, it doesn't seem as though it's been a long time, or doesn't look as though it's been a long time, but it has been a hell of a grind. All day I've been working on this, just to get up those four levels. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think I'm knackered today of uh, gaming, to be honest with you. But we are going to get there, okay? I just thought I'd bring you guys in to let you know that we are about to complete, or not about to, uh, that we have completed the uh, respect for Bad Asia. And we can, we've unlocked Bad Asia. That's, I just want to bring you guys in that. Just a little, you know, little intermission there just to uh, let you know about that, guys. And there you go. We just done it. We hit it. Fuck you, DEA agents. We've hit level 100. And of course, as expected, nothing new, but that's fine. I have achieved something I haven't done in Drug Dealer Simulator ever. Like I said, I've been ever so close to it before on my season 1 playthrough. But uh, never achieved it because of the pure and simple fact. Um, you know, brand new update come out and had to wipe, basically. Um, but yeah, so, freaking amazing. I've been grinding this game out all day, literally all day doing this game. And I finally achieved level 100, guys. Um, but yeah, so there's not much more I can say. There's no celebrations, no fireworks because of the pure and simple fact. There's nothing to celebrate about except for you know, hitting level 100. And it's not even the max level. <laughs> There's the surprise. There is the surprise, guys. Level 100 isn't the max level. But that's fine. That means we can still push and we can just see how far we can go with these levels. So there you go. Drug Dealer Simulator is not over. So don't think this reaching max level is the end of Drug Dealer Simulator. It's not. I've still got reaching level, you know, reputation uh, rank 2 on the Lubalina gang. we got to meet Kenji. I've got some meth uh, recipes coming out to you. I've got some amphetamine recipes coming out to you guys. And we've got to explore and crunch the numbers on the outdoor weed strain. So I did the indoor weed strain video. Um, if you haven't checked any of these videos out, go and check them out. There is a link at the top. A link in the description and a link at the end of the video to my drug dealer simulator playlist. Go and check them out. But we've done an indoor strain. <coughs> Excuse me. We've done a crunch number and breakdown of the indoor strains of marijuana plants. And I've yet to do an outdoor strain, and I am working on that currently. Um, you probably noticed on one point when we went into my actual cocaine lab, I've got a couple of packages just, you know, neatly laid out. Um, that is the marijuana, which is for the outdoor strains. So I am going to be bringing that out uh, very soon, very, very soon. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, guys. It's been a long one. It's been mainly a montage, I understand that. But what can I do? You know, I can't sit here for six, seven hours. Seems that's how long it took me. Um, you know, just doing deals all day. I could if I was live streaming. But unfortunately, I have a family. I've got to live stream at certain times. And I can't live stream all day with kids running around. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do, like the like the video. You know, if you're new, subscribe. Make sure you check out my drug dealer playlist. You might find something there. And remember to hit the bell icon for future notifications on my upcoming drug dealer simulator uh, videos. There's a lot more to come. As you guys can tell, since 
the levels are just going to keep going and we still got things to explore so yeah thank you guys for watching and bearing with me on this video i hope you enjoyed it and until next time remember to have fun keep gaming and i'll see you in the next video bye bye